Oh yeah, the red. All right. There you go. December, December Carolina red. Pulling a little better. Uh, might be into a school of them here. Ah, uh, maybe he's a, maybe a little bigger. Oh, wow, he's all beat up. You can see, but he's a little beat up. It's like you might have been caught in a net. Look at that blue tail. Yeah, he's got a couple of, it's like he might have been in a gill net. Well, I'm glad he got out. Let's see. That's probably about 16 inches. Another, another nice little red. This one's not as beat up as that last one. He's must have uh, evaded the net. Healthy. So my artificial shrimp here is getting pretty beat up, and wouldn't you know it, it's the only one I have left. Oh. They're definitely uh, schooled up today around these oyster beds. I think every one I've caught today have been inside of 
one of these oyster beds. Stacked up there. They're not real big, not in the slot, but boy, they uh, put up a big, good fight. They're healthy. Got, got four spots. Pretty fish. Oh, wow. Right here, the kayak. Look at that. Hmm. Wow, well, it's pulling good. You can see these some healthy fish. Uh, not real long, but boy, right there around the head, you, I can just barely get my hand get my hand all the way around them. Let's see if we can get him back in the water. Healthy fish. Barely had him hooked. As you can see, these are a schooled up small redfish. They're all about the same size. Healthy fish. Oh, yes, yeah, stuck them.
Well, as you can see, they've finally destroyed that uh, gulp shrimp. Uh, apparently, they want something with some uh, scent to it today. I did catch a couple on uh, some curly tails, but boy, they're just tearing that up. Unfortunately, that's the only one I believe I have left. So uh, I'm going to check, uh, see if I can find something else they like. All right, so we uh, went out today looking for some trout and ended up with some reds. Uh, it's kind of an unusual day. We have a front moving in. Uh, they say it may turn into a nor'easter. And uh, typically on those type fronts, I have pretty good luck, especially with trout. However, today, uh, no luck. Didn't even catch one. Uh, water was really clear today, which is typical for late December so that was no surprise I uh, got some you know grass moving in again no surprise there but I uh, tried a couple of uh, locations that typically always produce this time of year uh, not one trout I didn't see much bait fish uh, the tide was way out when I launched and uh, it, it ran way out today so that wasn't helping me any but typically with these trout this time of year it's kind of a waiting game if they're not there at these locations i fish uh, typically they will show up and the tide is coming back in however it's getting late in the day and i kind of needed to head on back so i decided to see what i could do with some reds and i ended up i found a couple of schools uh, nothing uh, to brag about. They were all under slot, but uh, as you'll see in the video, man, they're, uh, they pull real good for the size fish I was catching. They were all real healthy, real real big shoulders on them, and uh, a lot of fun to catch this time of year. Uh, had I known the reds were going to be that thick, I probably would have just uh, kind of targeted them today. But uh, yeah, anyway, I did locate some, and uh, had a real good time with them today. It seemed like they wanted something with some scent on it I did uh, land a few on just a curly tail and a jig head. However, uh, most of the ones I landed today I was catching on uh, gulp shrimp. I Tried a couple of paddle tails as well. Uh, no luck on those I had the curly tails on for the trout actually and and you know, that's when I I think I caught two on the curly tails and I said, hmm, maybe we're on to something here. So I kind of uh, backed up and punted and decided to uh, just target the reds today. And uh, yeah, I ended up doing pretty well on them. Uh, no, none over slot. They were all under and they were all about the same size, which is pretty typical this time of year. And they were moving.